Hi everyone, I'm Erica Reyes. I'm one of the applications engineers here at RKI Instruments and welcome to our channel. Today we'll go over the GX6000 benzene mode. I have a six gas GX6000 right here. It has your standard four gas, your LEL, oxygen, H2S, CO, um, I have my benzene PID in Smart Sensor 1 and my high range PID in Smart Sensor 2. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the unit. There you go. And I'm going to choose my normal mode. That shows all the sensors that's in there. It's going to show my Cal date. And this is the warm up mode. Uh, date, your battery, and your alarm. All the gases, my smart sensor one is my 10.0, and my smart two is the 10.6 lamp. A full scale is shown, alarm one set point, alarm two set point, your stell, TWA, and when that beep uh, goes, it means that you're in your normal detection mode. So here you, you can see all the gases being monitored uh, simultaneously. Uh, when you first turn it on, you're going to see this is the benzene PID. It has a better resolution there. Um, first thing you want to do is do an air adjust. So I'm going to press and hold my air button. Uh, make sure you are in a fresh air environment when you're doing this. Release air key. There you go. Zero adjusted and end. That just pretty much zeroes out any background um, or any readings or noise that you might be seeing when you first turn on the unit. Uh, another thing you want to do is you, we want to go into the PID library. So press the display button here twice. So press it once, that's the benzene mode. Press it again and that's the PID library. And you should see there's a, a lamp uh, rating there. This is the 10.0, this is the one that we want to change. It's currently set to isobutylene, but I want it to read benzene. So I'm going to go and enter into that menu. I'm going to scroll down, scroll up to the letter B for benzene, press enter, press the down button, choose benzene, power enter again, and it'll say end. It'll beep and then it'll go back to that PID list. And you should see it now, PID set to benzene 10.0. So that's what we want to see. I'm going to press the reset button to exit. So typically how people would use this meter is they will sniff around in normal mode first. And as you can see, it's changed to benzene now instead of VOC. And once you are in here and you get a hit on the, on the benzene or the VOC, you want to check if it is benzene. Um, so what you want to do is press the display button once and you have your benzene select mode. I want to enter into that menu. And you should hear the pump stall and on the unit, it'll say install tube and holder. Yes, enter and then no is the display button. So let me get my tube ready here. So this is your tube holder. Um, I have my tube ready here. I'm going to break both ends of the tube. So there's a tube breaker here, which is a really nice feature. I'm going to close it. And when you are putting the tube into the holder, take note of the arrows um, that's in the unit. Uh, there is an arrow on the tube hold on the tube, and there is an arrow on the tube holder. This is the shorter part of it. And you want to put the tube to the shorter part, shorter end of the tube holder. And you should hear a click. There you go. And that's pretty much in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and install it into my unit. So we take out your rubber nozzle and expose that metal fitting. And just pull back that quick connect. And that should be in there pretty nicely. Uh, once you do press the enter button, it'll say start measurement. You wanna press enter again. And then you should get a reading. There is also a countdown at the bottom. Mine's at 36 seconds right now. Take note that 
with temperature changes, that countdown does change. You might get a longer countdown if you're in a colder environment, um, and it might be a little shorter if you're in a hotter environment. So I, I don't really have any benzene gas here, so it's just reading zeros. Also take note that there is a filter that's go it's going through, so it's going to delay the response by a tiny bit. Got two seconds left. And there you go. Repeat is what it says. Uh, you could press enter to repeat the measurement or you can just exit out by pressing the display button. I'm going to go and repeat it. Press yes. And you it'll always prompt you to change the tube. Um, I would highly recommend changing the tube every time you do this measurement. If you don't really get a benzene hit and you're reading zero all the time, you can reuse the tube. But if you do get a benzene hit, please change the tube all the time. So I'm going to exit out here and press the no button. Press no again. Remove, to, remove holder. So I'm going to do that. And press yes. And it'll go back to the normal mode. One thing I want to mention is to never use the tube holder in normal mode. It will make the unit go into a low flow alarm. And that's how you use the GX6000 in benzene mode.